Hello everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use conditional operators and equality operators in the Java programming language. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get started as usual. Make a new Java project. And we'll call it condition quality. You can call it whatever you want, of course. This is just what I'm using for this example. Okay, within this, we'll go ahead and create a new class. We'll call it condition equality as well. Finish. All right, now I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the code better and I can still display the other parts of Eclipse this is just to help you be able to see the code better alright so I'll go ahead and make my main method here alright so I have my main method here and um, I'm going to show you a quick example of how um, Boolean expressions return true and false. Now, I showed you this variable in one of my earlier videos, the Boolean variable. And you're probably thinking, well, what in the world can I do with a variable that I can set to true and false? Well, I will... Um, demonstrate a small amount of what you can do with it. You can do much more than what I'm going to show you today, but um, it'll give you kind of a quick idea of uh, what's possible with it. Alright, um, just a quick refresher. So, you have a Boolean variable and they can hold true and false, and that's it. Um, that's all these types of variables can hold. Now, you can also do these. You can make these little Boolean expressions that return true or false depending on if the expression is true or if it's false. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is to test if two operands are equal to each other. I'm just going to get rid of these real quick. Just to show that they're blank Boolean variables and they don't have a value yet. Um, now this first one here is called, um, it, well, is just testing to see if two values are equal to each other. You just put two equal signs, and this expression here returns true or false depending on if this statement is true or false. Now, this is going to return true because 5 is, of course, equal to 5. So, I'll basically be setting the test1 boolean variable to true. And uh, I'll demonstrate that for you. I'll show you how that works. Go ahead and run it here. Okay, so it finished running and it printed out true because I set test1 equal to what this boolean expression returns and 5 is equal to 5 so it returned true. And we'll test it with another variable or with another um, value. See now this boolean expression is going to return false because 5 is not equal to 3. So, I'll be setting test1 equal to false, and I'll print it out in the console, and you'll see how that works. 
I run the program and it prints out false here in the bottom in the console so you kind of see how that one works there the next one I'll show you is the not equals to um, conditional operator this one this exclamation mark and equal sign together tests if the variable or operand on the left and the operand on the right are not equal to each other so this boolean expression is going to return true because 5 is not equal to 3 so we'll go ahead and run this and here it prints on the bottom true because 5 is not equal to 3 so that's a true statement now if we change this to 5 is it going is is 5 not equal to 5 no that's false so it's going to return false and set test 1 equal to false I run it and it prints out false here in the bottom next one I'm going to test is simply the greater than sign and it's pretty self-explanatory is 5 greater than 5 nope so this boolean expression is going to return false because this operand here is not greater than this operand demonstrate that for you and we have false now if we put say 6 here 6 is greater than 5 so it's going to return true and set test 1 equal to true and print out in the print line statement go ahead and run that and it prints out true here in the bottom okay next one going to show you is the greater than or equal to sign this one tests if a sign if a if an operand is either greater than or equal to um, the next operand which this will return true here because 6 is greater than or equal to 5 go ahead and run that and expect as expected we get true now we put it at 5 remember it returned false before because 5 was not greater than 5 but 5 is equal to 5 so it satisfies its expression it can be either greater than or equal to and 5 is equal to 5 so again it returns true now if I put 4 here is 4 greater than or equal to 5 nope so it's going to return false you see how that works there and I'll show you the less than real fast it's basically the opposite as the greater than one it just tests to see if the first operand is less than the second operand and 4 is less than 5 so it's going to return true we also have the less than or equals to which is basically the same as um, the greater than or equal to it'll test to see if a number is less than or equal to the next one or a, I'm sorry I shouldn't say just number but if the value here is less than or equal to um, this value and it returns true sets test one equal to true and prints it out here okay